Hey guys, back again. Got a call from the local municipality today of the traffic signals down this corridor here where there's three that are really close together and um, one seems like it's out of sync. You've got two that go green and one that just is not, well, it's just not in sync with it. So um, I've got a couple things in mind what's causing it. At one time, like I said, it was running fine and now this one's not. So we're gonna open up the cabinet and see what's going on. So a little bit about coordination. Coordination is the process of taking multiple groups of signals and setting your uh, coordination pattern up so that when you're on the main line, you should be able to go from one end to the other and be inside what they call a green band. A green band is going to move, think about on a timeline, it moves as you're progressing through signal to signal. In theory, you should be able to run from one end to the other and hit all green signals and never get stopped at a red. That's the whole basis of coordination. Now, it's dependent on these controllers have an accurate time set in them. You can usually keep them in sync if you have like fiber or radio, some kind of either wireless or physical connection from signal to signal. In this case, we have not yet got these signals coordinated uh, by a connectivity of, of this type. Right now, we're working off what's called time-based, meaning the controllers have to be set accurately from signal to signal. If you have time off in one, it's going to screw the whole run up. So that's what I'm gonna look at first. All right, one last time, just so you can see this in action. This goes green. Let's see if these vehicles, how far they can make it through to the other side. Got two sets of signals to get through. And they're already red. So kind of a bad setup here. You know, we want this to go green, that go green, that go green. So let's go uh, fix this. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is go into the controller and we're gonna check the time base and view current time. Oh, okay, here we go. This is the signal that was off. Look, it's, uh, it's telling me it is Monday, uh, April 2nd of 1980, which uh, is not the case. So that's that's the first problem we have. Now the second problem is it says it's 122. This is military time. It is not 122 either. So we're off all over the place. We need to correct that. But first I want to go downstream to the other signal and see what its time is. And I'll copy that and bring that down here and install it here. All right, I'm going to walk down to the next signal here. Whoop, I'm not going there yet because I need my keys to get in there. And I need to close this door. Let me do that first. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that signal and that signal, and I'm going to bring up a world clock, and I'm going to program each controller to the second so I know that we're on sync. Okay, we're at the first signal here. Let's go into a little bit more about coordination here real fast. Um, in each controller, you've got your dial split offset, and in there you also have a cycle length. The cycle length has to be consistent among all signals downstream, especially whenever it needs to know when to start its green time. And that green time is gonna be dictated downstream on each signal by an offset. I can get to that um, over here. The offset looks like it's zero seconds. So since this offset's zero, we want those other two down there to be zero as well because we're just going to have them all start green at the same time go to yellow at the same time and red at the same time so we're going to do our best just to move traffic from one end here to the other end but our main thing is we need to make sure that our timing is set up correctly so let's go into our time base set time and we're going to get this down to the second all right, got that one set. Let's go down to the next one and we'll do the same to that one and then the one after that. All right, we're right at the second signal. We're gonna do the same thing. Okay, 35 for the seconds. All right, by the way, I'm using a time.is. It's an online app that I use for, it gets me down to the second. I mean, you could use that, uh, any kind of world clock application that as long as it gives you seconds, you can get it down um, uh, each controller down exactly from one source 
That way everything's standardized. And now back to the one giving us problems. Okay, let's go back into our time base and our set time. Today's date is August 28th. 2024. The time is. Sorry, the time is 11. 19 and the seconds are 44. That's 44. There we go. Now we should be in sync with the other ones. Let's check it out. All right, this is after setting the controller clocks all in sync with each other. We've got a green, green, green. So when someone coming this direction, they're gonna hit everything downstream green. On the other end, they're gonna come through here and hit everything green. Granted, if you're right in the middle and they go yellow, yeah, you might, you might get stuck there. But for the most part, as long as you're in that green band, the beginning of it, you're gonna go right through these signals without having to be stopped. So I'm just going to show it just a little bit longer here just so you can see where they all go yellow right around the same time for side street traffic and then um, for now that's going to take care of it there we go all yellows all reds And just to reiterate on the time setting, this is an older controller and the battery itself has gone bad internally. So when it loses power, it has nothing to revert back to as far as knowing what time it was. So it always resets to its default, which I guess was 1980. The good thing though, is we have a contract coming through where we're updating and putting radios that talk from signal to signal. That's gonna feed back to a cell modem and then we we're also getting new controllers in here. So this will no longer be an issue. And if you guys haven't seen yet, uh, I have a previous video where the uh, signal is how to uh, remotely connect to a traffic signal. You can check that one out if you wanna know more about what we're doing here. But hope that was informative to you and I'll see you guys next week.